Hello, it's very hot in here in this room. So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me Midnight Rarity and as you can see today, these are a bunch of dead ponies on top of a moving fan. It's no biggie. <laughs> oh, but if you already saw the thumbnail and the title of this video, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of My Little Pony tattoos. You know, Hasbro released this set a couple of years ago with a bunch of awesome characters that no one can use because of the fact that there's a bunch of tattoos on it. I was actually practicing on a couple of these guys. For example, I did it on, uh, what's your name? Sunshine Petals, I think. I did uh, I removed the tattoos and as you can see I did an all right job except I did mess up the eyelashes here but I can paint that on I did Helia over here uh, the first one I did was uh, this guy it came out pretty good and then uh, I did this one as you can see this is uh, what is her name uh, what, what is it uh, the, the spa one the spa one it came out pretty good kind of like how Rose Luck I think that's her name has all this bunch of red on her this one used to have a bunch of this one used to have a bunch of purple around her. I managed to do a good job getting it out. Obviously, I did mess up uh, the second lash over here. Obviously, there's still a little bit, like a very small amount of purple on her. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty good for the fact that this pony was just you know surrounded by the purple so that's what i'm going to be showing you today and i know that i already did these guys but i'm i decided to film uh rose luck because rose luck is pretty hard to do and i've seen a bunch of people tr try but they did they did pretty good but i want to get like all the red out you know hopefully i don't mess up let's just knock on wood okay and um let's get started uh, actually let me show you what you're gonna need and uh before you do this i am gonna be using 100 acetone which is very harmful so please if you do this please ask your parents or don't be a rebel i'm kidding ask your parents please as you can see here's my station these are all my used cotton swabs and the number one thing you're gonna be using are indeed cotton swabs and as you can see um having cotton swabs that are a little bit um more compact are what you need because this is gonna keep the actual pony from uh, messing up or like the paint from inking onto everything else obviously you're gonna need 100 acetone i got mine at walmart for 99 cents you're gonna need a couple of elast elast Elastics. Elastics! You're gonna need a couple of elastics to hold the hair down so you don't like, you know, soak it in acetone. You're gonna need something to hold your acetone in and uh, you're gonna also need a bunch of napkins. These are gonna be your best friend in case you mess up. Or just in general because you're gonna need them a lot. Also, you're definitely gonna need some water just in case and uh, well, oh yeah, something that I used because in uh, the eyelashes on a bunch of ponies here, let me bring out Lotus Blossom over here. I think that's your name. Is that is that Lotus Blossom? I forget. Lotus Blossom, as you can see, has the eyelashes that are very thin and wow that does not look good on camera i'll fix it probably not you're gonna need to get a tooth uh well not a toothbrush a paintbrush and cut it up very tiny this is an old one that wasn't working so it's not a big deal you're just gonna need to cut it small like that so you can get into those hard edges to get into and it's just it's really gonna help you if you do this trust me i know because it's very um it's it, it, it's hard to do with just a regular whatever those are ear swab or whatever yeah i'm actually gonna be putting in a light over here it's a little yellow but it's gonna help me look at the pony so i don't mess up or like don't accidentally take out anything that i don't mean to but for now i'm just gonna like, show you the way that i do this but i'm not going to be talking to it because it's very hot in this room i have a fan right here and i need to turn it on and i will also be listening to music so um let's uh let's just put on some good music while we do this and if i do have anything that i want to like specifically point out I will. Yeah, let's just get started on, uh, where'd you go? Rose Luck. Yeet. We're honestly, like, if you guys are okay with just the fan going, then I'll talk for a little bit while I set this pony up. Okay, I'm going the opposite way. So as you can see, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take out the elastic that it had over here. And then I'm just going to get the hair like this. You don't need to wet it because actually it might mess you up if you do. So you're just going to need to tie it around like this. Uh, like if you were doing a regular pony bun, just do that and like just set the elastic there in place so you don't mess it up. I'm actually going to be using this yellow one that I have over here because acetone breaks the elastics and it's the My Little Pony elastics, the ones that are really good. The My Little Pony elastics never tend to break. In fact, I broke my first one today. So like that just shows how strong elastic is and also, I mean, how strong acetone is. And also be careful when you're using the 
acetone because the acetone is very very strong and actually melts away plastic so you got to be careful with how you do this I'm not even in frame you got to be careful with how you do this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get started and you're gonna watch and it's gonna be amazing and you're actually gonna cry because I'm gonna cry and we're just gonna cry because we're gonna do so good hopefully so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna I already said that I'm very tired <laughs> tip if you are going to use these um, ear swabs or whatever you call them please um, go like rotate it down or where uh, like away from like where you're trying to get the paint from and go down in a lower position because it just picks it up and makes everything so much easier and also never use a cotton swab that is already like a little bit messed up uh, on the tips because it just rubs the paint everywhere and doesn't actually take it off Also, as soon as you finish acetoning something, that's a weird way to say it. Please put it, oh, that's a horn, that's a car horn. I'm watching a music video right now. Please put it in water to get the acetone out so it doesn't, you know, mess up the pony any more than it needs to be. And uh, just wash it out and continue doing your process. You are golden if you are able to do this so easily. I just finished the body as you can see, and I think it came out good. Um, and I just gotta do the hardest part. I'm actually gonna cry. My camera's at half battery, so let's hope that this comes out well. I can't speak. I didn't take any before pictures, oh! Finished one eye, but I messed up a lot. Ah! So as you can see, I finished this eye, but I did mess up quite a lot, so I'm gonna cry. But I'm gonna do this one off camera, and I'll show it to you in a few seconds after we are done and finished with this pony. <laughs> Guys, I messed up really badly, but it's only the black part, so I'm just gonna color it in. So I'm okay, right? <laughs> Literally, two seconds after I shut off the camera, I'm gonna cry. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Because I'm not, but before we even do that, uh, did you know that acetone makes paper and wood bond together? <laughs> because I did not know, and now I do. And also, it bleaches wood. I didn't know that! But yeah, my rose look is done, and I'm excited to show you. Actually, let me bring out every one of them. As you can see, all the ponies went through a transformation. I painted on, well, I used a sharpie on the eyelashes, and like the part where I accidentally took off rose looks on part of the eye. I know you're not supposed to use sharpie because it bleeds through over time, but like, honestly, at this point, like, uh, come on. <laughs> I just want it to be done. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I think these came out pretty all right. I'm especially proud of the um, Lotus Blossom, even though it's a little bit stained on the top. I will, I will get that out very soon. But it came out it came out all right, I think. I think these ponies are ready to get their hair styled and be on the My Little Pony show. Um, uh, not the show, my, my channel. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna show you Rose look now and I'm very happy with how she came out. Look at that. It went from like having that big blob around her eye to like being normal for once. I, that was that was mean. I'm sorry. But as you can see, I did end up painting the thing. It looks kind of odd because the green where the is supposed to be where the black is, like on this side. But I, I can fix that a different time. Honestly, I'm tired. I might not even fix it at all. But um, yeah, it is finally finished, and as you can see, it came out pretty all right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go style these ponies. Well, I might go to sleep actually. It's pretty late. But I'm gonna uh, do whatever I can, and I'm going to take a few beauty shots of Rose Luck and then put them at the end just so you can see how she and her friends came out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'm sorry if there has been a fan bothering you. It's just, it's hot in here. <laughs> for Illinois weather, it's very hot. <laughs> so I I'm gonna go now and hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you all in another video very soon. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, but like really.
Isn't that amazing to see these ponies like all free and be normal? Okay, bye!